Intel is acquiring a company called uh, Granulate. So Intel is the unit share and market share leader uh, for servers. I think their market share is around 85% or 80% today. And AMD has the, uh, the lion's share of the rest. And then you have folks like IBM Power and IBM Z and of course ARM uh, in there as well. So um, one of the biggest challenges uh, inside of a data center is efficiency, right? You don't wanna burn uh, too much wattage and all things equal, ceteris paribus, the more uh, power you put into the system, the more performance that, that you're gonna get. And there've been a, a lot of ways uh, that uh, CPUs can moderate the amount of power they draw some of these are inside of the CPU. It goes all the way back to Intel speed step 20 years ago to be able to bring a uh, voltage and frequency uh, mm -hmm. up and down depending on, on what you're doing. Uh, but granularly, some, sometimes you need um, uh, additional software to make that happen. So what granulate does is it fine grain um, uh, when it comes to things like microservices that are a lot harder to modulate with with power, it allows you to modulate uh, performance and and power. Does not require uh, any um, developer intervention uh, on the operating system or on the application. So if your application isn't very good at working directly with the new breed of CPU or the operating system isn't, you can use Granulate uh, to do that. My expectation is that uh, Granulate gets sucked into some lower level uh, firmware or some type of driver that makes it even so auto magic that even the uh, end enterprise doesn't have to do anything. I did, a, did a, get a tweet from uh, Dylan Martin who said, hey, uh, I, I have a leaked memo from Intel that says that they're going to be selling this. By the way, those can both be true. You can be mm -hmm. selling it today, but in the future, it could get sucked into uh, uh, sucked into the firmware to make it even easier, and enterprises wouldn't have to load any software. Well, doesn't that basically address what Intel is trying to address by by effectively making this acquisition, moving up, or I guess moving closer to the silicon layer? where this optimization autom automation takes place. I mean, there's been software for a long time that companies buy and invest in to try to opt. Uh, you know, as I said, a lot of it happens like in the in public cloud, for instance, it's in the control plane. You know, you're trying to optimize workloads, you're trying to optimize um, software to, you know, make the compute work as efficiently and effectively as possible. Uh, you want to boost performance of every core. Um, and so the idea of being able to, you know, do this more, uh, quote unquote, what did you say, automagically? Yeah. Um, and that really is what this is all about. And Intel solving a problem that tends to go out the stack. So you go from, you know, the, you know, we love to say you can't run silk or you can't run software on air, right? So silicon is the one common ingredient, no matter what workload you're running, you're running it on something. And so as companies sprawl of software, as they need to optimize more and more every workload in their data center, try to get maximize every core, um, Intel has the opportunity to be a partner to these companies in terms of streamlining and um, autom automating that. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, it, it's still fairly high level to me, you know, in terms of uh, how the company's gonna monetize this, how they're gonna make it inclusive, how they're gonna, you know, um, but I do think software optimization is gotta be part of the story right now. And so this acquisition gives Intel the opportunity to expand their story um, you know, and help customers reduce CPU utilization and app latency, which is a big thing that every company is doing. They're either buying software to monitor it. And in this case, um, you know, they're, they're actually looking at ways to implement it where the customer doesn't have to think about it, just put it in play. So See, it's auto magic, baby. It's auto magic like it should be. Yeah. Yeah. So it's funny in the entire press release, it didn't say if it was using AI or machine learning or some, some sort of deep learning, but essentially it learns your application.